Black Widow not only passes the Bechtel test, it forces men to squeam as it puts them in their place. Did it? I don't even know what squeam means. Black Widow, the review. I'm going to let you know my thoughts on it right now. And uh, you can let me know yours in the comments below after you like the video and then after you subscribe. Because that's, those are the order of things you need to do in order to be uh, on this channel. Anyways, Black Widow is a movie that is a year and a half late. The MCU ended with Endgame and this was supposed to follow that up right after in the next summer. But guess what? 2020 hit and that just messed up all their plans. So now it's late. I'm asking myself, why was it not made seven years ago? And at the very least, where Captain Marvel was? Because spoilers, Black Widow is dead and she died in Endgame. Right off the top, it was disappointing. It was boring and just a missed opportunity for a character that is a good character. This character did not deserve this late, offhand kind of muddy story one of the pillars of the avengers she deserved her own movie much earlier focused solely on her this movie is a pass the torch movie she's barely even the star of the movie it's mainly about yelena uh florence Pugh, which actually is not a bad thing i think florence Pugh actually did a really good job she was probably the best actress in the film uh, above Scarlett Johansson, Scarlett Johansson, totally fine. This The cast is actually really good. Uh, you've got David Harbour, you've got Rachel Weisz, uh, like I said, Scarlett Johansson, Florence Pugh. They're all actually pretty good actors. The material is not good. The writing is poor. This is written by the same person that said she couldn't read a comic book. It was too confusing to know where to read next. A writer, unable to read, a comic book. The first half of the story is a slow Jason Bourne knockoff and the second half of the movie is a late Pierce Brosnan Bond knockoff and if you remember those not too good. A little over the top. The movie's kind of all over the place. It's very... for example David Harbour's character Alexi in the beginning of the movie he's a competent father figure that seems to care about these girls that get ultimately kidnapped and, and made into assassins. And then later on, halfway through the movie, he becomes a bumbling idiot. He's basically the butt of every joke in the scenes that he's in. Another example, Melina. In the beginning of the movie, she's seen as a mother figure that cares for her daughters. Later we find out she developed all of the mind control juice that has been used on all of the Black Widow assassins. She's never brought to account for that. She's never meant to atone. The film never even addresses the fact that she's done all these really evil things. It just, she just, it's good. She just all of a sudden is now good. It's that moral ambiguity that WandaVision had where WandaVision, it, Wanda, she imprisoned thousands of people in this town and the show treated her like she was a hero still. Like she didn't just enslave people's minds for her own purposes. The imbalance, like I said earlier, the imbalance of it is like in the earlier part of the movie, it's grounded. It's it's serious. And then the later, literally halfway through the movie, it gets to ridiculousness. And they treat human life like it's, you know, they're video game characters. They just die and they, it doesn't matter. So the first half is boring. The second half is over the top, ridiculous to the point where it's not even enjoyable. It's kind of just like, what is even happening right now? There's a lot of things that just don't line up. To illustrate spoilers for the big reveal, Taskmaster, the quasi villain of the movie is actually a female. Oh my God, I'm so surprised that current day Marvel gender swapped an established Marvel character from the comics. What a surprise. And even with this, they underutilize Taskmaster. They should have made Taskmaster the villain, but instead they wanted to go with a Harvey Weinstein hashtag me too kind of villain that he was just nothing. That was a weak villain. General Drakov was just, he was in the very beginning for the prologue and then didn't show up for half of them more than half of the movie and then just showed up right at the end just the monologue it was a muddy movie that was boring for a lot of it. it even in the action it was overly cut 
Jason Bourne style. They they rip off the main three spy movies. They rip off Jason Bourne, they rip off Bond, and they rip off Mission Impossible. There's nothing really original in it. It doesn't move the Marvel story forward at all. There's a little nugget at the very end that you could just watch on YouTube in about a week that sets up Florence Pugh's character where she's going to be going in the future. It doesn't really move the story forward. This felt like a passing of the torch to Florence Pugh, which I thought she did pretty well, and she's charismatic enough to carry a character, so I think she's she'll be fine. But the movie... It was disappointing. Scarlett Johansson and Black Widow deserved a better film that was more centered around her character and her character alone. This will do well. I'm sure it will do well in the box office. That is the silver lining is even if this movie is not that great and it's kind of a so-so boring movie that doesn't move the needle at all, at least it's getting people back in the movie theaters because I do miss movie theaters. I used to work in a movie theater for a long time and it's just kind of a nostalgic thing that I love. And I'm glad people are going back to movie theaters. But in and of itself, it's not that good. And the MCU is, it needs to get some better writers. That is that is what it needs. It needs better writers, better directors, because this kind of like so-so middle tier is not going to build a new MCU. The MCU has ended. We've come full circle. The last movie was named Endgame. Now we've had a year and a half Marvel needs to start from scratch and build their movies back up. And honestly, I don't think this does it. And you guys need to make better choices, better writing choices than this. But that's asking a lot of Disney because we already know Disney does not have any creativity anymore. We were lucky to get the MCU that we did. And I think Disney has proven that they slowly kill the franchises that they own creatively. Like it if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't like it, and, you know, hit subscribe because that's what we're doing around here. We're hitting the subscribe button. That's what the cool kids are doing. Uh, now, and until next time, be yourself. Because if people don't like you being yourself, then fuck them! In the comments, I want to I want to see what that reference is from because if I, I hope some of you guys, some of you guys out there know what that reference is from. Please, please.